So one of the things we heard you talk about was making Avaya cool. Can you talk about that? Because Avaya is not cool and Avaya are not things <laughs> they don't that go I really, together. No, no. So cool is really about believing in something that is that is beyond yourself. And I think that that this is an incredible time for Avaya. We've got an amazing opportunity right now to capture a new world, a new workforce that is trying to get more engaged with themselves and with their customers. And it's just sort of our time, if you will. And I feel like if, if you believe in that and you believe in Avaya, then you can be cool. And that's really what cool is all about. It's about belief. Okay. Well, we've been hearing a lot about engagement. And we haven't really been hearing about unified communications, <laughs> collaboration, call center. So talk to us a little bit about where you see, see things going. Well, I think in, engagement is really what we're trying to do with good unified communications and good contact center. And so instead of calling it the sort of typical product names, we'd like to talk about it as the outcome that we're actually looking for. So engagement is really what you're achieving when you get teams working better together and you get customers more engaged in companies. So those two things are happening. And then there's this whole trend of, ha of moving them together. Team engagement coming together with customer engagement so that you have teams and customers all kind of working together to be more engaged, which leads to more loyalty, more productivity, more profitability, more revenue, more referrals. It's just a great thing for businesses. So can you give us an example of how or why the teams and customer engagement people might come together? So. I think that the issue is we used to think about teams as being very separate over here. People who use unified communications work in this part of the business and people who work in the contact center work in this part of the business. But the fact of the matter is, to, in today's world, customers are relevant to every part of a business. So when you bring them together, you're actually able to make teams understand what customers are all about and customers understand the teams that they're working with. So bringing them together is actually a much more productive thing for everybody. So we're happy to do it. It seems that that's going to take a lot of cultural change on the part of the end users. Have you thought through that part and how you're going to help workers get there? Well, it's, I think that's true for people who have been, maybe been around for a really long time, i.e. old people like me. But for young people, they're used to, to interacting with companies and people in, in a myriad, in myriad ways. They do video, they do chat. They do Snapchat, they do Instagram, they do Facebook, they do all these different things. And, and so what we need to do is figure out how to communicate with that group of people in the ways that they communicate. So I think the younger the industry gets, and it's always getting younger all the time, the more these multimodal communications thing become de rigueur. So someone on Twitter today asked me a question, and he said, there's so many choices out there for customers right now. Why Avaya? Well, Avaya is in a very interesting stage of its life cycle, and, and uh, I'd like to say that this is somewhat accidental, and it kind of is. We are in a rebuilding mode. So several years ago, we got bought by private equity firms, we came out of the public market, and we got this opportunity to kind of look at our entire base of products and solutions and start over, and we, we did that. And so we're in this incredible time where we're rebuilding and we're looking towards a great future. Some of our competitors, like Microsoft and Cisco, are really in a protect your asset mode and that puts you in a very different mindset which is not as, as inspirational as the, as the rebuilding mindset that we're in so that's really one of the reasons why I think Avaya has a great opportunity right now which is a kind of an accident of timing but we're really happy to be in this part of our life cycle so engagement is the theme and what we're hearing about what comes next after engagement Ooh, that's a very good question. That's a very good question, which I wasn't expecting. But I, 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 <laughs> I hope that we are able to actually achieve engagement. My whole idea here is can we actually redefine the industry from that of communications, which went to collaboration, and now engagement? Can we actually be the, the catalyst that redefines an industry into that of engagement? So we're nowhere near doing that yet. So I don't know that I can think way out beyond that. If I can get to a point where people say that Avaya redefined the industry, if I can get to the point where I can say that Avaya redefined an industry from collaboration to engagement, that's going to make me very, very happy. <laughs> and that would be quite a challenge. It so. would be. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Andy. Thanks, Blair. Good to see you.